Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. I welcome you to the Betches blog and thank you for watching my video. Kindly connect with my channel, share this video, and like and subscribe if you're new. And please comment and like this video. So, today is all about our mommy's birthday, February 5. Pastor Mrs. Oyedipo, the wife of the founder of the Venus Chapel. Bishop David Oyedipo and our Papa in the Lord said beautiful things about his wife in this video. I attached the clip to this video so that you can watch and learn. It's a much for all single single ladies must watch this, share it to single ladies. And also, even if you are a married lady, you can also gain one of two things to spice up your marriage. So, we wish our mommy a happy birthday and long life and prosperity. So, I leave you to watch this. God bless you. Subscribe. Like and share. Thank you. Thank you. Someone here who's been part of my life since 1976. Amen. Hallelujah. And I, I believe one of the best things that ever happened to me in my life is my God directed step to this very short lady. Amen. Now, I, I can tell you this, she's one of the first fruits of my capacity to locate God's plan. God said to me in very clean language, that is your wife. There was no mistake. It was not a guesswork. There was no assumption. Now, hear me. Very clean, very clear no struggle that is your wife she's the first to hear from my mouth what god said in delivering this mandate she stayed with me most productively and fruitfully all those years amen she's been there from the time of the wilderness to the time of the opening of the book in the synagogue and to the time of giving expression to the world would you please rise to your feet and welcome with me this angel of god as she comes to bring the world please come in amen praise god hallelujah I think she was taller than this in 1976. Amen. Praise God. One thing I can tell you about this angel is that she loves God. Amen. And I've never had a problem working in divine plan. I've never had to think about how she will feel. She feels God anytime God speaks to me. So we want to hear from the Lord this morning what he has in stock for his people. Let me celebrate my wife openly for a job well done. A job well done. Our children, growing up, were running every Sunday evening seminar with her. We've had zero concern over any of them. No one went to college without speaking in tongues fluently. No makeup. So we could trust them to 
hear from God to choose their courses of studies. We could trust them to get who their spouses will be. No arrangement. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Today, I have returned like that one leper in the Bible. To give all the glory to the God who is too faithful to fail. For sparing my life, giving me another chance to live, delivering me from the pants of death, taking me from a miry clay and placing my feet on the rock to stay. <laughs> taking me from the wheelchair and putting me on my feet today <laughs> with joy and gladness and gratitude. I have returned today to say thank you, Jesus. Today, we are all here not to celebrate me as it were, but the Jesus that is in me. He is the one that makes all the difference. Therefore, Jesus Christ is the reason why we are gathered here today. And I cannot thank him enough for this great opportunity and honor. It's not a right. And therefore today, as we gather here giving glory back to God, I know that the joy that you have come to share with us will return back home with you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Born into a family of eight children, I'm the number six. Happen to give my life to Jesus Christ by divine placement as a teenager. God gave me the opportunity to be baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues the year 1976. And ever since then, I've never had a better last year. It's been from one level of glory to another. Why am I saying this? If you have Jesus Christ in your life, no matter the attempts of the devil, you will end up triumphing. In case you are here today, confronted with any challenge, remember me standing here today once on the wheelchair. God, who did mine, he will do your own too. Don't you ever give up on God. Many years ago, I was traveling by road to Quara State, and we had passed the redemption camp on our way to Ibadan. And I heard the voice of God said very clearly to me, you are born a blessing, a viola, not a burden. He called me by my name. You are born a blessing, not a burden. And when all these fears attack began, I said to myself, but oh Lord, I'm born a blessing. I've not been a blessing yet enough to my world. And after the rescue, God placed in my heart and the Faith Abiola Oedipo Foundation was established. To the glory of God today, I'm excited. I'm grateful to God. Many lives have been born again. Many lives have been rescued. Homes have been restored. Villages I never knew I could ever go to. We've been to villages. And by the grace of God, heads of communities have given their lives to Christ, attending church today, born again, established in the faith. And a few days ago, I was so excited to hear some of the testimonies from some of our people that went out to different, different villages, cities, and towns, going to hospitals, and God using them to discharge people. People who never knew how they were going to come out or pay their hospital bills were supernaturally rescued. Indeed, whatever God says, will always stand the test of time. My testimony is encapsulated. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 10. Apostle Paul says, by the grace of God, 
By the grace of God. By the grace of God. We are what we are. I am what I am today by the grace of God. And I can boldly say, Acts chapter 26 and verse 22. The Bible makes it very, very clear. By the help of God, we have continued unto this day. And I know that God's grace that has helped this far is more than enough to take me through in the name of Jesus Christ. 